us try another example to design for a doubly reinforced section. The section is given here. It has a depth of 510 and the width of 280 mm. The compression steel bar is given as 628 mm square and the tension steel bar is given as 2410 mm square. The positions of the compressive steel bar is determined as 50 mm from the top of the beam. The steel strength is 500 newton per mm square and the compressive strength of the concrete is 25 newton per mm square. The question asks us to determine the ultimate moment resistance of the cross sections. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. To solve these questions, first you need to draw the stress plot diagram of the sections. There will be a neutral axis at the positions of X and a compressive stress plot at the compression region. The height of the compressive stress plot is equal to 0 0.8 times the height of the X. The design compressive strength of the concrete is equal to 0 0.567 FCK. The compressive force generated by the concrete it will be occurring at the centroid of the stress block of the concrete. And the compressive stress of the steel bar it will be at the positions aligned to the compression steel. From the stress block developed here, we produce an equation of static equilibrium. Taking sigma fx equals to zero, we know that the tension force in the tension steel it will be equals to the summations of the compressive force due to the concrete and the compressive steel. Assuming all the steel bar has already yielded, the forces due to the steel bar is determined by the design stress multiplied the area of the steel bar. The compressive force due to the concrete is determined by multiplying the design stress of the concrete with the height of the stress plot and also the width of the concrete. There will be one unknown here. Solve the equations, you will obtain S equals to 195 mm. Then you find the positions of the neutral axis by using these equations. Based on the ratio X per D equals to 0 0.48, which is less than 0 0.617, you know that the tension still would have yield. Next, you need to determine the moment about the tension steel. It is calculated by multiplying FCC with the lever arm here and FSC with the lever arm here. The lever arm for the FCC is determined by minusing the D with half of the height of the stress plot. As for the lever arm for the FSC, it is determined by minusing the D with the D prime. The force FCC and FSC is actually based on the equations here. With that, the equations to determine the moment of the cross sections is given here. Substitute the relevant value into the equations you will obtain the moment equals to 443 kN Theoretically, you need to check the ratio of D prime per D in order to determine whether the compressive steel bar has yielded. Since you assume the steel bar has yielded throughout your calculations. Dividing 50 with 510 you obtain the ratio equals to 0 
the ratio is less than 0 0.171 that means the compressive steel bar has already yielded at the ultimate state so your assumptions that the compressive stress within the compression steel bar here is valid